A ministry in Kansas City, Missouri, has come up with a unique way to reach the city's homeless population. It has created something called the Worship Wagon, with the idea of taking church to people living on the streets. And now lives are being restored one service at a time. Songs of praise fill the air under this bridge near downtown Kansas City. This church behind me, which doesn't have any walls and no pews, is touching the lives of some of the most unreached people in the heart of Kansas City. Welcome to the Worship Wagon, a mobile church serving the poor and homeless. Those attending this church on wheels participate in a weekly non-denominational service each Monday night and are encouraged to come as they are. Bruce McGregor and Joe Ratterman came up with the idea. It's really fun because we'll set up sometimes about 5.30 in the evening and no one will be here. And then we'll get the music going and you'll see people just drifting out of the woods, which is behind us along with the Missouri River, where about 100 people live, 100 homeless people live there year round. And those are our parishioners. My wife and I were working with the homeless for uh, about 12 years now. And um, we, were, we tried really hard uh, in a few different ways to you know think about taking people out of the street and uh, into a, a, you know a world in which we feel more comfortable and uh, we learned some lessons that way that uh, maybe that's not always the best way to, to bring you know God's word to those people we decided to bring the church onto the street instead each week volunteers from local churches fill the wagon with equipment needed for the service we just have a simple single axle trailer but in that trailer we have packed it out we have a really professional grade uh, sound system that's very compact and we can wheel it out and get it set up very quickly. We have a quiet generator, you can't even hear it, but it powers the whole sound system. So we can, we can have a complete band here playing worship music with just that system. And, and then also in the trailer we've got a ton of chairs. And then we, during the winter we put a commercial grade heater. It runs off diesel and electricity. I mean it looks like a huge... Uh, uh, satellite installation is so big but it heats up this whole area under the bridge so some guys will just come to get warm and then they hear the gospel and so it's fun to see how that happens rain or shine the wheels keep rolling we've been down here every Monday but one for a year and a half and the only reason we missed it was because uh, this road over here was uh, too icy to drive down um, but we've been down here when it's uh, in the teens howling uh, north winds and we're all shivering in our, uh, in our, in our caps and gloves. Uh, and uh, we've been out here when it's been 100 degrees and there's been thunderstorms rolling around as well, uh, rain. So, you know, we've been blessed with this amazing location that covers us. And so, you know, as long as there's not a tornado right on top of us or ice on the street, I think we have, you know, license to basically come down here and set up shop. Volunteer Melvin Cole says he often sees extraordinary reaction from those in the audience during worship. Some of the people will just get up and high five you right in the middle of the song and they'll dance around. I mean, I dance with them, you know, I get out and just shake hands, dance with them. You really want the people to feel connected and that we all are worshiping God together. Beverly Cole saw her life transformed by the ministry a message she now shares with others. I was a drug addict for, for many, many years, you know, and I know God changed me from the inside out, so I know if He could change me, He could change anybody. Meanwhile, the worship wagon plans to continue bringing church to the down and out in need of hope and healing. God works with us where we're at. You know, I think that's the biggest uh, story here about you know, worship wagon is you know bringing God uh, and being his, his eyes and ears, hands and feet, where the people are at, instead of thinking that you can bring the people to where you're at.